Rocking side to side, nice and easy. I better fix my camera so you can see my head. I don't want my face to cut out. Hopefully the internet doesn't go out today, but I don't know. Yesterday, Zoom didn't work. The, the power went out in my house, so, you know, here's to a better day today. Hopefully. I better not lose the power again. So as you're twisting, make sure you're waking up those hips a little bit, right? Going side to side, oh, loosening up the arms. We will use our arms today, of course, right? And then we're gonna go one more each side, then you're gonna do forward arm circles. I just like to keep fixing my camera. It's gotta be perfect, you know? There we go, that's better. So nice and easy forward circles. You don't have to go fast, right? You don't have to go super large. It's really whatever feels good to you. Then you're gonna reverse those circles. Oh yeah, circling. Arm circles feel so good sometimes, right? And you're gonna do openers, so hands come together, you'll come wide and squeeze, right? So as your arms come wide, press that sternum forward, right? Try to keep those shoulders, so you don't have to have your arms way up. It's mostly just to get those posture muscles engaged, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, right? We'll do about 10 more seconds here, then we'll get our legs moving. So let's do three more. Here's one, here's two, here's three, and then you're just going to do your nice, easy marching motion. So your hands could just be at your waistline if you want, and you're just trying to get your knee up to there. So it doesn't even have to be fast. We're mostly just trying to stretch out our hip flexors, right? So right in front of your hips, that's usually where people tend to be tight because you use your hip flexor with everything, right? So that's just how it goes. And you want them to be warmed up because if they're angry at you, they're not afraid to let you know, right? Angry hip flexors are like the equivalent of the angry hamstring. You don't want to make either of those angry. So we got 10 seconds and we're going to go into some butt kickers, right? Just trying to keep those legs moving, getting our heart rate up here a little bit. And we're going to do some butt kicks. So just going side to side. I went for a walk outside before this, I'm sweating, right? It's sticky outside. Nasty humidity, no one wants humid weather. Bring back those cool mornings. Hopefully they're coming back soon, right? So as you're moving, you can just kind of have your arms relaxed. If you like doing openers with your arms, you could even do that. It's up to you, right? And we got about 15 more seconds. This is one of my favorite ways to stretch out my quads. I think it just feels good, right? Can you kick yourself in the tush? I don't know. You can't tell if I am, but I did. See, I'll show you. Pow! Right? Just so you know I can't. Just so you got one more each leg. And then we're going to go into just some nice, easy calf raises. So nice and controlled, right? You want to go up as high as you can. Squeeze and back. Trying to hold on to that posture, right? This is going to get us engaged and ready to work on some balance. So the gliders today are going to work a lot of balance. It's kind of like if you imagine using a reformer, right? Your foot's on the reformer and it's pushing back and in, that's going to be the glider. How about that? Who knew you could make the reformer at home almost? Not really. People are like, ugh, glider is gross. I'm going to make you love them though. Okay, we got 10 seconds. Nice and easy. Warming up those arms. Uh-huh. Arms, legs. I don't need my body parts, so that's good. One more. And then now you're just going to hang tight. We're going to do our good mornings. So your hip hinge, you're going to have your feet about hip width apart. Hands are behind your head, right? Your squeeze. Core is tight, right? You should feel it in the backs of those hamstrings, right? And you want to go just nice and controlled. So making sure that you're looking slightly straight ahead as you go down, that's going to help you hold that posture. If you feel this on the front of your legs, that means you're squatting, right? You want to feel on the back of those legs, right? And those hamstrings and glutes, right? If you don't like having your hands behind the head, you could just have your arms down, right? And try to get your pinkies past your knee. That's your goal, right? You don't have to touch the floor or anything like that. You're warming up. Don't be crazy, right? You could be crazy, but we're not going to be, okay? We're going to go about 10 more seconds here. Just taking the time. Go at a speed that feels good to you, right? We're going to do two more here. And here is one, coming back, here is 
two, we're gonna stand up tall. We're gonna start with our right leg. You're just gonna bring that right leg wide and then back. Right wide and then back. So try to really focus on your core and posture when you kick your leg wide. Try not to tilt your whole body, right? And you wanna make sure that you're controlling your leg on the way down. So if you hear your foot land, you're landing too hard, right? Soft land. You may be able to tell you're working out. Right? I got dogs downstairs, so if my foot slams, all you'll hear is barking. So I'm saving you. Okay, we got two more here. Here's one, here's two. Now you're gonna bring your right knee directly up, right? So it's just a single leg right knee. You're trying to get that knee up to that waistline every single time, right? Again, we're warming up that quad and hip flexors, right? It's like we're gonna use them. So we have five seconds, then you're gonna combine those two moves. So we'll go two more, here's one, here's two. Now you're gonna go wide, oop, I almost fell over, and high knee, right? Wide, high knee, wide, high knee, right? Wide, high knee, isn't that exciting? So we have 15 seconds, then we're gonna switch legs. So your left leg is stabilizing you right now, so if it's burning a little bit, that's normal, right? Nothing's wrong with you, you're normal. Okay, we're gonna go one more each way. Here is one, here is one, then we're gonna switch. So you're starting with your left leg, it's just gonna come wide and back, right? So remember, we're getting that base of support from our right leg. Your core is staying nice and tight, and we're just kicking wide and back. No big deal. We do this all day. So you got two more. Okay, and then we're gonna do our bent knee, high knee, right? So you're just getting that left knee up as high as you can, warm up that hip flexor, warm up that quad. Right, and your right leg's all ready to go for today. It's like, oh yeah, we're ready to roll. Got two more than we combo. Here's one. High knee. I'm still here. It cut me off if you didn't know. So you're going wide and high knees still. Nice and controlled. Right, high knee, wide, high knee, wide. Right, we gotta go 15 more seconds here. So keep on cooking, making sure I didn't mute myself. Right, high knee, wide, we're gonna go five seconds. So let's go one more each way, right? And then you're gonna relax, and we're gonna grab our glider. So let me get my notebook here. So you just need one glider, okay? or whatever you're using to glide. If you don't want to use a glider, you don't have to. Instead of sliding your foot, you could just step back with your foot. So you're gonna have two dumbbells. You're gonna have the glider on your right foot. Step back here a little bit. Okay, so left leg is gonna stay put. You're gonna start with your arms down. You're gonna slide your right leg back. You're gonna do two rows, and you're gonna slide right back, okay? So slide your right leg back, two rows, Right, and you'll stand right back up, okay? Slide, two rows, and right back up. So you gotta control how far back that right leg is going, okay? So when your leg goes back, make sure that your left knee bends. You're gonna slide, do two rows, and come back, right? Slide, do two rows, and come back. Slide, two rows, and back. Right, isn't this exciting? So you should feel a majority of this in your left leg, right? When that left leg bends, it slides your right leg back, okay? And then you're coming back in by standing up with that left leg, right? If you wanted to turn this into a lunge, you could, right? You would just bend that right knee more and come back. So we have one more with our right leg, right? We got two, and then back. Okay, so now we've got our left leg, and this time you're going to do a reverse flat. So your left leg will slide. You're gonna do two reverse slides, right? And then you're gonna come right back up. Slide, hinge forward a little bit, two flies, and back up. So when you do reverse slides, keep a bend in those elbows, right? These are a little bit harder than your standard rows, right? And it's gonna burn you up a little bit. Burning them. So we got 15 seconds. Then we're gonna go through an arm series. Okay, so taking your time. Remember, if you're not using the glider, you just simply step back and do these same motions, right? Last one. There's one, two. So now you're just gonna set your glider to the side. We're gonna do 10 bicep curls curling up and back, ready? 
So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, here's 10. Now what you're gonna do, you've got overhead tricep. So weights are together, you're gonna bend down and extend. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there's 10. Now we got 10 overhead presses. So you're starting here, you're pressing up. Here's one, coming down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's your arm series. We'll come back to that. Now you're gonna have one weight, right? And it's gonna be with our glider, one glider. We're going right foot, left leg stabilized. So you're gonna do a forward press with your weight as your leg goes back. So our right leg slides, you'll press, bring the weight back in, you slide back up, right? Slide, press, back, up. So remember your left knee is bending and that's what's helping you get that right leg back as far as you feel you can. If you don't have gliders or don't wanna use them, you don't have to, you would just simply step your leg back instead, right? But the glider is gonna add a little bit more of a balance challenge and it's gonna make you use your left quad and glute a lot more, okay? Doing a great job, we got 15 seconds. And then we're gonna switch the legs, okay? Nice and controlled. You're doing a great job. It's gonna feel good too, right? Yeah. Okay, we got one more here. Okay, so now we're switching. Same arm motion. So, right leg stays put, our left leg slides. You press, come right back in, right? Slide, press, back in, okay? So if you feel really wobbly, just do it step by step, right? So slide, get in place, press, come back in. If you combine it all, it makes it a little bit more challenging. So it's really whatever you feel like you can keep up with, okay? We got about 10 seconds. Then we're gonna go right back through that arm burn, okay? So we're gonna do one more here, okay? We're gonna relax, set that glider to the side. We got both dumbbells. And we got our 10 bicep curls, okay? Ready? So you're gonna curl and down. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we got our 10 overhead tricep. So you can use one weight or two. You're coming down and extending. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we got ten overhead presses. Ready? We're going up one and down, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, great job. So now we're gonna have no weights, and you're gonna have both gliders. Actually, we'll start. Yeah, we'll do both. So with your gliders here, again, if you don't want to use them, you don't have to. Instead of sliding, you would step, okay? So what we're gonna do, you're gonna slide out with your right leg. You will go into a side lunge, so your left knee bends. You'll come right back up. Your left knee would come into a high knee, and then we alternate. So left knee would come wide, or left leg would come wide, you come in, right knee comes up, okay? So the leg that comes up into a high knee is the leg that you're not doing the side lunge with, okay? So you're alternating like to a side lunge, come in, high knee. Side lunge, come in, high knee. Right, side lunge, come in, high knee. So make sure when you go into that side lunge, 
that you have that leg nice and straight. You're keeping the weight back in those heels. You kind of look like you're in a speed or speed skater stance. Speed skater. It's hard to say while you work out. Okay, and remember, if the lunge doesn't feel good to you, just do a stepping motion in a high knee, right? So you can just step in high knee, right? Step in high knee, okay? So do what your body will let you do, right? Don't feel like you have to do a side lunge to get a good workout. This is gonna work you up either way. I promise, I would never let you down. Okay, you're doing a great job. We've got about 15 seconds. Okay, and then we're gonna go back to our arm series. Yes, can't get enough arms today. Almost lost my glider. My feet won't leave on this carpet very well if I don't, if I don't have a glider, okay? We're gonna go one more each way, okay? So we're gonna slide, high knee, slide, high knee. Okay, set those gliders to the side, grab those dumbbells. We got our 10, 10, 10, ready, 10, 10, okay? You ready? 10 curls, so we're pulling up one, here's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you got your overhead triceps, weights come down, and you kick up. There's one. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we got our ten overhead. Ready and go. Here's one. Here's two. You can go down to dumb one dumbbell if you need to. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Okay, so now with your dumbbells, you have the option. You can keep your dumbbells or set them down. You're going to have both gliders, and it's like we're going to do a monster walk with our gliders. So you're basically down in a squat, right? You're going to have the weights by your chest. Your knees are bent. You're going to step wide, wide, and then come back wide, wide. So you want to make sure that your heels aren't on the floor, right? And the lower you get, the harder it is, you're just gonna go two each way. So if your knees don't let you squat, you can just do a side step, do one way and two the other, and just try to get as low as you feel you can, right? Turn it into a monster walk, okay? If you can use those gliders, try to get nice and low, and really push into those gliders to make you move. So this is gonna get a lot of inner thigh action here. Okay, we got 30 seconds, right? It should look like you're standing, across your floor here okay you're doing a great job weight is back and those hips right heels off the ground so it's a little weird okay you're doing a great job on two one way two the other right stand nice and low right as low as you can get okay you got 10 seconds you're almost there we're gonna go two each way here's two here's two and relax set those weights down or not weights down gliders we got a 10. Okay, 10 bicep curls. Are you ready? And go. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we got our overhead triceps. Ooh, ooh. And we're coming down and up. Here's one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got our ten overhead. Oof. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, whoosh, set those weights down. We're gonna go back to some balance with our glider. So you only need one glider. So what you're gonna do, 
Your left knee is gonna stay bent, right? You're gonna slide your leg out front and then just come back, right? So I'll give you a side profile. You're just sliding in front and back, in front and back. So you wanna push your tiptoe down into that glider, right? If you're not using glider, you would just tap, come in, tap, come in, okay? So the lower you can be with that left leg, the better, right? And you can add those arms in, right? It'll help you focus on that balancing motion, okay? And keeping that left knee bent, right? No matter what way you're doing it, okay? So you don't need the glider on this, but if you can't use it, do it, okay? We got 15 seconds, then we're gonna do a wide motion, right? So nice and controlled, nice and relaxed with those shoulders. Two more. Okay, so now that right leg is still working, you're gonna wide and back, wide and back. So your goal is to just have your right tiptoes on that glider, right? This is gonna fire up your left leg. Your left leg is in charge, right? You should feel that left leg burning. If you do, bravo, you got it, okay? It's like you're kind of cleaning your floor here, going side to side. Pump those arms with it, right? Left leg is just stabilizing. 15 seconds, then we're gonna switch legs. Okay, keep on moving. Go quicker if you feel like you can. You got 10 seconds, right? We got five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, stand up for a second, oof. Okay, left leg gets to slide in and out. So right knee's bent, we're sliding out and in. Okay, so you'll start with that knee bent, straight, bend, straight, bend. Okay, so use those arms with the motion. Remember, your right leg is gonna stay bent the whole time and you're staying down and low, okay? Keep on moving through. And of course you're breathing, right? Of course you are, okay? We got 15 seconds, then we're going to the side. Okay, keep on breathing, keep on moving. Right, we got five seconds, so let's do three more. One, two, three, all right, now that left leg goes wide and back, wide and back, right? Use those arms, stay nice and low. Try to just press the left tiptoes into the ground. Okay, you're doing a great job. Slide in and out, all right? Up. Keep on moving. 15 seconds, I'm getting pretty sweaty. Uh-oh, my internet connection is bad. Hang with it. Otherwise, you're gonna do this for 10 minutes, okay? 10 seconds, you're almost there. We got five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna relax. Last set with our dumbbells, then we are all done, okay? So we got our 10, 10, 10, 10, infinity. Ready and go. Here's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we got our overhead tricep. Weights are together if you're using two. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we got our 10 overhead, then we are done for the day. Ready? And go. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and you are all done for the day. Good job. Full body sweat session there. Woo.